they're losing it. <laughs> Republicans are not having a good day. What's the children's book, the title that I always get wrong, the, the no good, very bad, terrible, awful day or whatever? That's right now the, 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 the perpetual state of Republicans and conservatives in this country because of the fact that there is momentum on the side of the Kamala Harris campaign. People are energized, motivated, excited by her candidacy, and the Republicans have nothing to answer. All of the policy prescriptions that they talk about, that they want to put into action, are distasteful, to say the least, to, the, to a wide swath of Americans, whether that be abortion policy, the Project 2025, taxation, the economy, the, 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 the border nonsense that they want to put into mass deportations bring back the internment camps from World War II. This is the agenda of the Republican Party, and largely Americans aren't here for it. And as a part of their scrambling and not knowing what to do and just being absolutely apoplectic of what is taking place, it's just throwing shit against a barn door to see what sticks. And let me tell you, nothing's really sticking. Last night... Non-veteran, Mike Huckabee, non-veteran, non-patriot, non-hero, Mike Huckabee had the gall to go on Fox News with Sean Hannity and compare a semester in college in ROTC to the 20 plus years of military service of selfless dedication to his country in military uniform of Tim Waltz. If, if, if it wasn't coming out of Mike Huckabee's mouth, if I hadn't told you Mike Huckabee, you might think, ah, there's no way, that's ridiculous. Knowing this Mike Huckabee makes it a little bit more reasonable and realistic because he's such a dipshit, but I want you to watch this. And I want you to understand exactly how desperate these freaks are that he's willing to compare that to actual military service. Watch this. This is about a man who has trouble with the truth. I don't denigrate his service. I'm gratefully served in the National Guard, and it was honorable without him having to embellish it. Sean, I was in the ROTC for one semester in college, but it was six months after the draft ended. They were trying to get people out of the army, not in. The sergeant told me, he said, son, we wouldn't take you no matter how bad you wanted to come. Don't come back next semester. Now I could have got up for the rest of my life and said, yes, when I was in the military, but that would have been really uh, an affront to the people who did serve and who did things more than shoot a 22 in one semester of our OTC. What's the Sesame Street song? One of these things is not like the other. <laughs> <laughs> you being in ROTC for a few months and shooting a 22, as you describe it, does not compare to attaining the rank of command sergeant major in the Army National Guard. You hypocrite freak. And for you to even juxtapose the two shows how little understanding or respect you do have for the troops. The thing that Republicans bang on about all the time, support the troops with their fakeriotism, literally molesting the flag, Donald Trump on, on stages at CPAC and elsewhere. It's just jingoistic nonsense that doesn't mean anything. And when they do shit like this, it only makes it more clear. More, continuing on the train of showing you how desperate they are. This is Janine Pirro attacking Kamala Harris because what world leader is going to fear her as though anybody feared Donald Trump? The only fear was apprehension at his unpredictability and his lack of professionalism and the fact that he was just a loose cannon moron. Watch Janine Pirro, another goof who knows nothing about how anything works. 
She is not someone who is capable. Kellyanne talked about Afghanistan. I can't imagine her sitting in a room with any of the world leaders without them looking at her and saying, should I be afraid of this woman, really? You see, Fox News, conservatives, Republicans, MAGA world, they have such a childlike understanding of how the world functions. They think everything is about tough guy this and fear this and it, that's not how it works. First of all, Kamala Harris is fully capable of being president of the United States, without doubt, without, without reservation at all. But even if she weren't, <laughs> if she's elected, she's going to be president of the United States of America and, the, and all that comes with that like from the movie Lincoln talked about being cloaked in the mighty awesome power of the presidency, that's what she will have, Janine Pirro. She will be feared, if that's what you need, based on the office of the president, not based on who she is. You think people were afraid of George W. Bush? No, but they respect the office of president and the mighty power that comes along with it. <laughs> these, the, the, these people have the, 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 the alcohol riddled brain of children. And continuing in the parade of nonsense is Sean Hannity, who is just stepping into his role of projection artist in chief at Fox News, whining about this campaign, talking about Kamala Harris's campaign, is it's a whole campaign, it, 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 it's founded on lies, misinformation, propaganda, and deception. <laughs> the Kamala Harris campaign, not the Trump campaign, lies, propaganda, deception, projection, no, 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 Kamala Harris. Make it make sense, watch this. You're a communications expert, and we see that this whole campaign is on a foundation of, of lying and propaganda and misinformation and deception, and, and they're not being who they truly are. Now, up to this point, they've gotten away with it. Now, the question is, how, does, how would the country react if they knew everything we're talking about regarding both Tim Walls and Kamala Harris? I think they would lose in a landslide. Now the question is, how do you get that information out? That's your area of expertise. How do you get that information out? You have a nightly news program, fat, hard, violent, air quotes, news program on the most watched cable news channel in America, maybe the world. I wonder, how do you get that information out? Well, what's a real brain buster, Sean? Maybe go on the air and talk about these things and back your claims up with facts and evidence instead of lies, propaganda, misinformation, and deception. You see what I did there, Sean? <laughs> you fucking mook. Anyway, what do you think? Uh, I would love to know. These people are the most unoriginal dolts in the history of American media, certainly. Um, you can leave a comment below. We can have a conversation there. You can also call, leave me a voicemail, get your voice on the record, 714-576-4054, or you can email me, as always, the old-fashioned way, daily at dollamore.com. If you want to help support this work, help me make these videos, produce this content with me, click the join button below, become a channel member for $2 a month. You can go over to my Patreon page, patreon.com slash I doubt it podcast. I, if you don't know, am on social media, even though I say at the end of every, almost every video, at Dollamore is where you can find me. I'd love to see you there. Share this video, like and comment. Make sure you're subscribed. That's really the best way to support this work. Um, <laughs> I'll see you next time, Sean Hannity and, and the rest of you. Be genuine. Take care of one another.